Joyce M. Roche, The Empress Has No Clothes, Conquering Self-Doubt to Embrace Success. In The Empress Has No Clothes, Conquering Self-Doubt to Embrace Success, Joyce M. Roche delves into the uncomfortable territory of imposter syndrome, a feeling of inadequacy that persists despite evident success. In this summary, readers will find a detailed overview of imposter syndrome, its origins, and the destructive effects it can have on one's self-image and sense of self-worth. These individuals consistently downplay their achievements and live in fear of being exposed as a fraud. Through Roche's own experiences, the hardships of several prominent individuals, and advice on overcoming imposter syndrome, readers will gain valuable insights and better understand the syndrome's pitfalls and the steps they can take to triumph over it. Overcoming Imposter Syndrome Many successful individuals suffer from imposter syndrome, a feeling of being a fraud who doesn't deserve their accomplishments. This causes damage to their self-image and distorts their sense of self-worth. The fear of not being accepted by others can lead to a lack of confidence in their abilities, as their true value is not reflected in their self-perception. Although individuals can overcome imposter syndrome, it often prevents them from integrating their capabilities into their identity. The internal dialogue can be crippling with thoughts of inadequacy constantly present. Overcoming Imposter Syndrome The imposter phenomenon is a belief where despite academic or professional accomplishments, a person feels like a fake. This is due to a persistent belief that they are not truly capable, and their talent is a result of fooling other people. Pauline Rose Clance and Suzanne Imes coined the term in 1978 and developed a test to self-assess if someone is suffering from it. Clance offers treatment plans to combat this phenomenon in her book, The Imposter Phenomenon, When Success Makes You Feel Like a Fake. Statements like, I'm afraid of not meeting expectations, and others will discover how much I lack knowledge, are indicators of imposter syndrome. Overcoming Imposter Syndrome Joyce M. Roche, the first black woman vice president of global marketing at Avon Products, shares her journey in conquering imposter syndrome. Growing up poor in New Orleans during the 1950s, Roche felt the need to mask her true personality and constantly feared being exposed as a fraud. With each success, her anxiety grew. Roche believes that imposter syndrome sufferers need to connect with their spiritual essence and remember that their value lies not only in their productivity but also in their essence. She encourages others to show up for life as their whole selves, move past their fears, and not feel the constant need to prove themselves. Overcoming Imposter Syndrome This is the story of Valerie Roche, a woman who battled with imposter syndrome throughout her academic and professional life. Despite excelling academically, she felt like she didn't belong at Dillard University and later at Columbia University. Roche found the environment at Dillard Hostel and felt surrounded by people itching to unmask her and show the world she was an imposter. She carried these feelings with her throughout college and later into the business world. After graduating from Dillard, Roche earned a fellowship and stipend to earn an MBA at Columbia University in New York City where she focused on studying marketing. Unfortunately, being in the minority added to the weight of her imposter syndrome. Despite her exemplary academic work, she was nervous about leaving home and working briefly at City University of New York. Roche's reflections about imposter syndrome struck a raw nerve for thousands of people. This book tells the story of how Roche overcame her imposter syndrome and how others can do the same. Imposter feelings tend to keep people silent, but this book aims to speak up and help others overcome their fears and doubts. Rising Above Imposter Syndrome Andrea Young's journey of smashing the glass ceiling at Avon and overcoming imposter syndrome is a tale worth telling. In 1973, she began as an assistant planner and soon became a manager. She then went on to become the first black woman Avon ever made a corporate officer before rising up the ranks to become the vice president of product marketing and global marketing. Despite her success, Jung had to leave to become a general manager. This summary takes readers through the challenges and triumphs of an iconic black woman fighting her way up the corporate ladder. Overcoming Imposter Syndrome 
After becoming executive vice president of Carson Products, Sylvia Roche signed a contract to become president a year later. During her time there, she was recruited to serve on various boards. Roche suffered from imposter syndrome but found her confidence after succeeding at Carson. She left the company without any emotional baggage despite resigning due to a new CEO's arrival. From Executive to Girls Incorporated CEO In her quest for meaningful work, Roche left behind her former identity as an executive to become the president and CEO of Girls Incorporated. She found purpose in helping girls become strong, smart, and bold, and saw her work as a way to do God's work. No longer driven by the need to prove her worth through work, Roche found fulfillment in a leadership role that aligned with her true nature and heartfelt drives. Overcoming Imposter Syndrome For successful individuals share their experiences with imposter syndrome and how they overcame their self-doubt. Eileen Fisher, the founder of a women's clothing business, struggled with public speaking despite her success. Rick Goings overcame his self-esteem deficit through meditation and created a successful direct sales fire alarm business. Despite Janice Warren's successful career, she constantly felt the need to prove herself to her colleagues. Deborah Lee, the only woman or African American in many of her Harvard classes, was often ignored by her professors who didn't believe in her abilities. These individuals hoped to inspire others to learn to embrace and be comfortable with themselves. Overcoming Imposter Syndrome To overcome imposter syndrome, speak to someone you trust, conduct a personal assessment, and discriminate between realistic and unrealistic fears. Internalize external validation, don't brush off praise, and be yourself at work. Assist others who may suffer similar worries. If you feel like a fraud at work or tend to discount your achievements, you may be suffering from imposter syndrome. The fear of being exposed as unqualified or unworthy can be paralyzing. To overcome imposter syndrome, it is important to speak with someone you trust, like a friend, mentor, or professional counselor, about your fears. If no one is available, write down your thoughts and review them later. Conduct a personal assessment to see if your extra work is paying off. Discriminate between realistic and unrealistic fears and internalize external validation. Don't brush off praise and be yourself at work. Finally, assist others who may suffer similar worries. As the summary of a The Empress Has No Clothes illustrates, imposter syndrome is a deeply rooted psychological phenomenon that can derail countless lives. Although sufferers may achieve significant success in their personal and professional lives, they continually wrestle with life-diminishing self-doubt and anxiety about others discovering their fraudulence. The book offers eye-opening accounts of the author's personal journey, as well as recollections of various accomplished individuals who wrestled with feeling like an imposter. It suggests seeking support from friends, mentors, or professional counselors, and conducting reality checks to break the cycle of negative thinking. By addressing and acknowledging their extraordinary achievements and true potential, Readers will gain insight and strategies to conquer imposter syndrome and live with greater joy, confidence, and authenticity.